So today we're going to connect the phone to the camera via Wi-Fi for transferring photos and stuff. Now first you got to get the Canon Camera Connect in your App Store or the Play Store. And then I'm going to adjust the brightness here since I'm going to be outside the LCD brightness. A little easier to see. So let's open this, go through the standard license agreement and whatnot. So now we are going to open it and easy connect. Now let's go back to the camera and scroll over with this button or push it on there. You want to go to the phone icon and here we're going to go up to register a device for connection. Now we're going to be going back and forth to the phone here. So let's go here to Android and what you're going to do is get to the SSID, the Wi-Fi network password here, that number right there. And we're going to come up here to your Android's Wi-Fi and you're going to long press, hold your finger on there until these options pop up. Now once you get to this option, here I don't see it, let's scroll down, come back up, there it is. This is my personal setting on the camera, yours would just say probably Canon or whatever if this is your first time doing it. So you want to tap on there. Now you want to enter this number right here, your password. And now once you enter this, this time, you won't have to enter it every time. You shouldn't. It should save it automatically. And you just have to tap on there and connect. And there we go. We're connected. Okay. So now after that's connected, you want to go back up here. get back I'm just gonna move this down here go back into this app and you got to go over to the camera and now the actual camera is asking you if it's okay to connect right here I know this is bad you can't really see it but you want to hit tap that and that'll basically agree to connect so there you go so now you have established your connection and you're ready to start and that's pretty much the hardest part of the connection now once you get in, these are your options. Images on camera, remote live view shooting, and camera settings, location information. So let's start with the images on camera. And let's transfer one here real quick. And this is very simple here. Let's come down here and find something. Okay, here you go. So here, just select an image you want to transfer. And come down here to the bottom, and that's the download. Once you tap that, you look here there it is you got it it's that fast go up here and hit that select now you have the option to pick multiple photos at once here so we're going to go through and pick a bunch of different photos and now let's hit the transfer and here you go as you can see here they are transferring you see this little check mark that just means that they're completed This isn't very bad. I mean, I thought it was gonna be really slow and this is actually pretty fast for photos. Now videos is a different story. I'll show you that in a minute. So there you go, six to six transferred and you're ready to go. Now let's go into our gallery and make sure that they went through. There's the gallery. Now let's see, and come over here, Canon file. There you go, here they are. So we just transferred the photos wirelessly from the camera to the phone pretty simple once you actually establish the connection and it's fairly quick all right so that's the image transfer now let's go to the live viewing mode and this is pretty neat now it's not flawless there is a little bit of a lag here but it is really neat okay I'm sorry I know the glare is pretty bad here but here you go remote live viewing shoot and now we are seeing what the camera's seeing on the phone with a little bit of lag. Now this is a little window here where you can make it bigger. But see, there's the slide the camera's looking at and here it is on the phone. Now moving the camera and as you can see, there's the lag. It's Yeah, see just a little bit of lag here. Now you're seeing a picture of the phone recording the phone that's looking at through the camera triple uh, lag there but yeah I mean it's it's not horrible it's functional 
So here's the capture button to take a photo. Okay, it's gonna get out of frame here. So there, that's capture. So I'm capturing a couple photos here. Now here's how you turn it to video mode from your phone. That's a nice feature. You don't have to actually go to the camera. So if you look down here at the bottom, here are some settings. This is a really nice feature too. You can get in here and change your settings without having to go to the camera. And then right here is how you make it a large screen on your phone. Take that thumbnail off and make it larger and kind of hide those settings. So let's go ahead and record some video here and kind of see how it works. As you can see, the little bit of lag going on there, but it's not horrible. You can still see on your phone what's going on. And uh, you're basically controlling everything with your phone right now. So there, we stopped shooting. And now let's go back and really quick, let's look at the images and transfer them. What we just shot, let's transfer them onto the phone now. So again here, push the select. Now pick the images in the video you just took and go ahead and transfer them. The two photos and the video. Now I'm gonna do the video here. It's, it's gonna start transferring the video. Now, this video is a 12 second clip and this is the downfall to wireless transfer. 12 second clip took almost two minutes and I'm fast forwarding it here, but uh, it's not a fast process. If you're gonna transfer video, I would much rather use the USB. Now this little blinking button here is just showing you that the Wi-Fi is on and activated and that it is working. Okay, so two minutes passed and there, that file transferred the, uh, it was a 1080p video at 60 frames per second. And there goes the images and see how fast those images go. Now there, we're done. So it took about two and a half minutes to do 12 second video clip and a couple of uh, images. Now the last thing I wanna take a look at here is the uh, actual camera settings. And there's really not a whole lot you can do here. Uh, change some date, time, your location. You know, it's, it's actually pretty worthless. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, as you can see here, it's pretty simple to get on. And again, once you want to reconnect, is all you have to do is go in and find your camera and your Wi-Fi after you turn your Wi-Fi on on your camera and connect. And as you can see, I'm shooting a live mode here. So hopefully this was helpful. If you liked it, give me a like and uh, please subscribe. Thanks.